All right, welcome to Smokey Reacts, me boy Jonas. And on this one, we are here to check out Potter Paper and Amelia on Chicken Shop Day. It's been a while since we have watched one of these, but I actually really do enjoy Potter's music. So it would be nice to see him in a different environment. And then also, I did enjoy doing these, but I just have not been doing them. But I seen this one popped up on my timeline, and I was like, oh, why not? Let's just throw it in there. You know how it works. So thank you guys very much for joining me. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description, and let's get into this. Have you ever been on a date to a chicken shop before? Many times. What? This is actually my favourite type of date. What is it about it that's <laughs> your favourite? The pricing, the cheapness of it all. Do you want tomato ketchup? No, Tommy K is not my go-to. What have you got? I've got chicken strips and chips, but these strips don't look stripping. I heard that you were going to get chicken shop tattooed on you. Yeah, Kennedy Chicken in Barking. They wouldn't answer the phone to us, but we couldn't be there today. I know, we tried. Well, I could take you on a second date, maybe, if you're lucky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so calm. <laughs> I've not heard Potter in, like, an interview yet. Like, this is probably the first time I've heard him, like, actually, like, talk. I've only listened to Cuz music. <laughs> he sounds so much more like a geezer than I expected. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos. Why not? I'm not nervous I'd get them and then I would regret them. Well, I regret I got covered, which is this here. Was it a girl's name? No, it says BK. It might as well have been a girl's name. It's what used to stand for barking like back in the days. Yeah. And then people still say to me, is that a girl's thing? Is that a girl's thing? Like, no, mate. And then I felt really stupid explaining that it was barking. Because <laughs> like, I don't know what's worse, like a girl or barking. Let me see, let me see what's on that like, thing. What's worse, like go or bark him. Oh, this is with Morley's? What the hell is on that one? Chicken filet with hash brown cheese, regular fries? Hey, that shit sound fire though. They got the spicy John too? Yeah, let me get that. For $6.79 with the man with the drink and the Hey, Morley's is doing the service to man right now. This is pretty good. I'm not even there, but I'm like, hey, next time I'm man go London, we might have to pull up. Barbecue chicken filet. Nah, nah, nah. This is probably typically not that good, so we're going to leave that be. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one with the hash brown had to be a go-to right there. How are they finessing me? Oh, I get two extra wings and the fries in the drink for seven forty-nine. So for a dollar extra, I could get the same burger. Nah, they 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 still in two dollars. They still in two dollars because for a dollar extra, I can get the same burger, which gets me to eight forty nine. But that's already a dollar over where I was. That gets me to seven forty nine. And then for another dollar extra, I can get the two chicken wings. So that's going to be two dollars over where I was already at. Nah, more of these is out here finessing with this boxed meal deal. But if you really didn't care and you was just trying to spend a tenner. Morley's got you covered, and you got money left over for something sweet after. Do you think barking is a good place to fall in love? <laughs> Have you fallen in love with barking? I knew with my nan. Oh, wow, the necklace. Wait, that's my nan. Is that you and your nan? That's me when I had hair. So much hair I had, isn't what it? What happened? It just fall, all fall off? Blew off. Really? Windy and barking? <laughs> Windy and barking. So that's a hairy chest. chest. I like a hairy chest. Did H have a hairy chest? No, not really, actually. Yeah, I've seen it. Like a little... Bull chicken? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do people call you pots? Some people call me pots. Pots? Pots and pans? P? P P? P P. but then exactly that pisses me off, though. Oh, does it? Sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're violated. <laughs> Don't point that thing at me. Should Wait. I tell you what spell I know then? Yeah, Let's see if you know this spell. Don't do the oh, one. You know what I was Don't do the one. If you wind me up, I'll do it. You silly boy. Avada <laughs> Kedah! I don't... I Avada Kedah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ticklish? Not at all. No. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. You're a ticklish. You're right there. 
No, I can't do it. And usually I open everything with my teeth because I've got teeth like a rabid dog. I did think that when I saw <laughs> your teeth. Jesus Christ. You have... what I know we're here just joking in that, but Jesus Christ, the UK is dark humor sometimes. I'll be just like, yeah. I, it's certain shit that I know back home, niggas would be like, yeah, so we're not fucking with Shorty ever again. But they seem to have such a good chemistry. Like, I'd actually watch them do shit together. What does Purple Rain mean? Like, what does that mean to you? No one's actually ever asked me that before. Well done. That's my nan's favorite song. When I used to be growing up, listening to music in my household, my nan used to listen to Prince Purple Rain. Purple <laughs> Rain, Purple <laughs> Rain. And I found it, found it in a Purple Rain. Give you a, a, a gym though. Joe Gotti has a remix of this. Well, it's got a sample and it's called Pure Cocaine and it features Young Cash. And she's ah, it's such a good, like, drug dealing song. Like, Jesus Christ. It's, ah, it's ah, so good. Pure Cocaine by Yo Gotti is so good. All I ever saw that in these streets was pure cocaine. Pure cocaine. I was just like, God damn, that's too good. I don't actually know much of that other than the chorus. Well done. I think the motto for love is find somebody who loves you like I love my nan. Fair enough. Do you have groupies? I don't have groupies, no. Surely there are people afterwards who are like, what up? Sign my butt. Sign my butt, innit? <laughs> Do you like writing love songs? No, I don't actually. I feel like it's very vulnerable. And a lot of my music's very vulnerable anyway. So I if I tell so much of myself in that space, maybe I could just keep this private. But do you think maybe if you met someone, you know, like they could be my you, muse and inspire me. You just maybe haven't been inspired by someone, and I, I don't know, like that maybe, maybe in the future you could probably be inspired by someone. Does <laughs> <laughs> she want an ex drug dealer now? I, I, a million with the ex D boy would be hilarious. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. Is it because you got bad eyesight? <laughs> that was good. That was good. Would you ever get comb over? It'd be hard now, wouldn't it? Look like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Do you ever wear contact lenses? No. And what about laser eye surgery? Because I want to get that. No, I just wouldn't trust all that type of stuff. And plus, I don't want to like just take away from who I am. So that's why I don't bother getting all the fake teeth and eye surgery and get them to put curls back in my hair and. The, the curls. But I'd just much rather. People Bravo. accept me for me. What's I love that? that. I can't come to the studio. No, 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 we can discuss this. I love this. that. See, this is where the violations happen. How is K.A. out here getting shelf space that should be going to Bigger? Because that we're in London now. Why is man not just drinking Biggers all the time? Bigger is where it is at. K.A. is cool, but like, nah. Bigger's the best one. Shout out to Bigger. I can come to the studio with you if you want. You're really overstepping the mark. Is that too much? Is yeah. that too full on? No, no, I definitely need to come. Is that quite yeah. a romantic place? No. No? That's where all the bad bees go. I'm a bad bee. <laughs> well then, get yourself down there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I've got one more present for you. <gasps> got your love potion. Wow. Are they actually banging? Wow, flipping off. Okay, so now we're both basically. Oh, I love you so much. What? <laughs> I don't think you need any. Tastes like you. Cut. <laughs> I like this. It was really nice to see like Potter in like a completely different, like so far like removed from like the type of music and art that he puts out musically. That it was really nice to see that like he's got like a very calm and chill side to him as well. As far as Amelia, she's always smashing it. Uh, it's pretty much it. Thank you guys for joining me. I see you on the next one. I'm at it. Shit. Sure.